Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Leo. Leo, this is your monthly general reading. This is going to be, uh, the time. The timing on this monthly is New Moon to New Moon, which is January 13th through the 11th of February, 2021, alright? Leo, please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? Thank you, Spirit. And keep in mind, I have grandchildren running around playing, you guys. Two of them are toddlers, so you may hear them having fits or it's getting close to bedtime. Just know that they're safe and they're fine, okay? All right, current situation. We've got the Four of Cups. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you as I'm laying them down because I hold them up anyway. So, I'll be showing you them when I get done. All right. Four of Cups, your situation, your challenge position is the Four of Swords. And your foundation is you, Leo, strength. <laughs> Love it. Recent past energy, we have the Page of Swords. Crowning position, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Your new circumstance, okay, or near future is justice. What you need to know is the Hierophant. Your environment is the Page of Cups. Your advice from Spirit is the Seven of Wands. And your outcome energy is the Knight of Pentacles. All right. Looks really, really positive. I'm feeling good vibes here. Now, you take a look. You have the master number 11 and the master number 44. You have the number 88. Okay, and I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. All right, with that said, let's get started, Leo. So, we have the Four of Cups here, okay? You know, I feel like for some of you, you're waiting on an opportunity. Maybe you've been putting in applications. Maybe you've been going to interviews. Um, I feel like you're really getting tired of waiting here. Uh, some of you are even starting to doubt yourself, okay? Or you're starting to doubt that you are going to get the job, okay? And it's going to be important that you replace those thoughts with something positive, okay? Because you have an opportunity coming in here. You see it? It's the divine, all right? So this is a gift, an opportunity, a blessing. So when this shows up, you're going to take it. You're going to be happy. You're not going to doubt yourself. Okay? I'm just getting that, you know, you... Some of you have been waiting a minute. You may have even put in, you know, applications or went to an interview uh, as far back as maybe three three to four weeks ago, okay? And you're just like, wow, you know, they're not going to hire me. You know, it's, you, you know, and you're really down right now. But you got the job, okay? Now, if that is not the job that you're getting right here, okay, this opportunity right here is definitely, like I said, it's going to be better than... The opportunity that you were so upset about okay that you didn't get so just know everything happens for a reason Leo okay and you got to remember that divine timing is everything all right in your challenge position we've got the four of swords I feel like it's gonna be a challenge for you to take time out for self-care it's going to be important that you take time out to balance your energies refill your cup and rejuvenate yourself now another thing that's coming through here you guys you have a blessing it could be what's being offered right here and it, you've got to make sure that you are feeling good you're you know you've got energy you're you've been rejuvenated because when as quick as this shows up and an unexpectedly as it shows up it's gonna leave just as quick okay so you've got to be able to be aware um, you're gonna have to be able to see this opportunity it's gonna come before you and act on it right then and there okay that's gonna be very important I do feel like for a handful of you you may have recently been sick maybe you had the flu 
uh, maybe it was a cold, it set you back a couple of days. I feel like you may have even lost a couple of days of work. I'm getting care for one of you. You may have even just got out of the hospital. Make sure you are taking time and you're being patient with yourself, okay? It's, you've got to be patient with healing, all right? Because if you rush it, you're, you're going to get sick again and you, you don't want that to happen. So it's best to do it the right way the first time. And you guys, you know, whenever you're feeling doubt, uh, some hesitation, or, you know, just feeling down, okay? Um, I, I don't want to say depressed because I don't feel like it's that, that bad, but it, it could get to that point. And it's going to be important that you, you meditate, you take a step back, and you clear your mind, ground yourself, and go within, okay? Now look at this, boy. I love it when you guys show up in your own readings. Leo, you've got strength here. This is in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you, okay? You're stepping outside of your comfort zone. You're being courageous. You know, you know you have the, the inner strength and wisdom and the spirit of perseverance running within you and through you. And this is you going after a vision, going after a dream, going after your heart's true desire right here. You're going after your happiness, okay? You're doing it. You understand that it's achievable. It, it, you know, it's within reach, but it requires you to take that leap, and that's what you're doing right here. A lot of self-confidence and a lot of passion with what it is that you're going after. Page of Swords, recent past energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy right here. The Page of Swords tells me that some of you recently you know, uh, signed up for a course or maybe, uh, maybe it's a trade school, community college. I feel like you need a certificate, okay, of completion with something in order for you to take action in a, a career area, okay? Now, I, I'm also just, I'm getting right here, some of you this is, you know, definitely a new beginning of clarity, okay? Foresight. Some of you are studying the occult. You're diving deep. You're looking um, into hidden knowledge, okay? Uh, it could be, it's just like the secrets of, uh, what's the, what is the name of that? I'm trying to think of here, spirit. You're, you're a truth seeker, okay, and, and you're wanting to, you're in like high priestess uh, mode right here, Leo, where you're embodying that energy where you want to know the, uh, the occult scientists. You want to know the secrets, okay, that's been, uh, you know, kept and hidden for, for thousands of years. And this is you, you know, being very interested in it. Some of you may even be going to a... a, a class or getting together maybe it's a group of like-minded individuals and having spiritual discussions even this could be online as well all right so we have the eight of pentacles in your crowning position this is what you know this is what you're thinking about this is mastery okay you're highly skilled at what you do on a day-to-day -day basis you know um people admire your work you know, as long as you nurture this skill, okay, what you do, it will care for you. It will bring in financial flow and abundance. This also talks about mastery of a spiritual path, okay? Some of you may be thinking about uh, being a spiritual teacher, healer, leader. Some of you, this is getting a degree. Maybe it's a master's degree. Maybe it's that certificate we were talking about, okay? Maybe it's just a class that you got to take for a week or a month. And it's going to allow for you to make more money. It's going to bring in a lot of abundance and financial growth into your situation. Now we have justice. This is your new circumstance, the near future. This is the energy of Libra coming through here. Clarity again, you guys. And these uh, justice and the page of swords is marrying each other. And we're definitely talking about, you know, you having foresight. Your third eye is open. Your crown chakra is open and you know you guys are discovering so many truths 
And these truths can be within yourself, it can be within situations, or it could have to do with other people. Now, some of you are waiting on a court uh, judgment, and it's coming through here within the next 30 days. Judgment is in your favor. You're going to be very happy. Um, this could be a contract. This could be, you know, a financial legal situation, whether it be a lawsuit, inheritance, anything like that. Anything that has been owed to you or due to you, you're going to be getting it very, very soon, okay? And, you know, I'm also seeing, you know, karma here. You guys get ready for your all the good karma that you've been putting out into the universe. The universe is blessing it back to you, okay? Now you have the Hierophant, the energy of Taurus coming up here in the position of what you need to know. You know, this is so powerful right here. Again, I'm getting together. You guys are getting together maybe with like-minded individuals, like I said, right here. Definitely studying uh, something different when we're talking about a spiritual path or journey. Some of you are leaving behind how you were raised. Maybe you were in a certain uh, religious uh, group and you've turned your back on it. And now you're, you know, you're going down your own. You're a free thinker, okay? Um, you have freedom to choose what it is that you want to believe in, okay? What, what's pulling you in the direction that you're going, that is what you are studying. That's what you're wanting to do. And I definitely feel like the divine has a hold on you and the divine is pulling you down a certain path. And you're realizing, wait a minute, you know, this is completely different from how I was raised. This is different how my family is. You know, you may feel like an outcast right now because you may be the only one awake in your family or maybe in your circle of friends. It can be very lonely and that could be why it keeps coming up that you're getting together with like-minded people. Okay, because you may feel so lonely that you, you're seeking out people that are have the same belief systems as you. This also tells me that you're realizing you hold the keys to your success right here. You hold the keys within you to unlock doors that have been locked. You are able to walk down paths that you felt were blocked as well. Stepping into your power. Some of you could be getting a pay raise or a promotion. I'm getting mentorship. All right, your environment is the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is a new romance, okay? The beginning of a new romance. For some of you, you may have taken a relationship to the next level. Maybe you moved in together, okay? You're going to see how it works. Um, I, I do want you to be mindful that, Leo, I feel like your, your partner uh, could you know, could be a bit immature. They could be maybe younger than you. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're younger. It just means that they, like I said, could be, you know, they act like they're young. They're not very mature. So you've got to, you know, watch uh, getting into a relationship when you have someone that is immature, okay? Now, I'm also getting right here, you guys are definitely stepping into your your spiritual gifts, okay? You're using your gifts to help you along your path and your journey. And, you you know, you're taking your gifts and using them to benefit you and your situation and your home life as well. Some of you may be starting a business from home. And it could have to do with your spirituality again. You know, you guys are healers. Some of you may be starting a healing practice. Seven of Wands. All right, this is your advice from Spirit. Spirit says, stand your ground, speak your truth, stand up for what you believe in. Okay, Leo? All right, don't back down for nobody. Don't give in to nobody. If somebody's trying to get, talk you out of you going after your vision, your dream, or, or trying to talk you out of, you know, not going down a certain path, stand your ground, okay? Because this is your life. This is your destiny, not theirs. They don't have the right to do that. You have the upper hand in this situation. You have the gaining advantage. Fight for what you believe in and what is right for you. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy right here. This is the slowest moving knight in the tarot, but you know what? 
the Knight of Pentacles doesn't overlook anything. He gets the things done right the first time. He understands that slow and steady wins the race. Okay? He understands that he will reach his goal. And while he's on this path, uh, you know, moving forward to achieve his goal, he has steady financial flow. There's no need to rush anything. Because once you reach your goal, you're more than likely, this is going to move up to the Queen or King of Pentacles, okay? Uh, it's a very abundant energy that I'm getting here. It's very, you know, realistic, down to earth, grounded, you know. This money right here, what you are going after is doable. It's achievable. It's within reach, okay? All right, Leo. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment, you guys. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Leo.